Just now making it to the Ponca Low Water Bridge. The Buffalo River water levels have finally come up. Super stoked to be on this stretch. It's the most beautiful stretch of the Buffalo River. Ponca to Kyle's. It's about 10.8 miles. Probably take about four hours. So as I was saying, this is by far the best stretch of the Buffalo National River. Ponca de Kyles, best 10 miles of floating in the state, in my opinion. I actually really wanted to float yesterday, which was a 70 degree Saturday in mid-March. And the water level was a little bit higher. It would have been perfect, but I couldn't find anybody to go with me and discovered that a private shuttle costs $81. So I decided to pack up my hiking bag uh, and hike into Kyle's Landing. I ended up setting up camp for about five hours, watched all these floaters go by and just couldn't take it. So I packed up my stuff and came back down this morning with my boat and just bit the bullet and paid the 81 bucks for the shuttle. So I'm gonna make the most of this beautiful Sunday. It's about 50, 55 degrees or so. It's not super warm, but it's also not cold. So nothing to complain about here. Coming up. Unfortunate this floats so quick. So beautiful. Alright, I'm going to try and give you guys the most raw version of this float by capturing as much footage as possible but I only got two batteries so it's only gonna last me about two hours it's a four hour float so I'm just gonna choose the best stuff to use
<laughs> Amazing. It's super cold. We're about 0.75 in right now. Well, we're about 1.5 in. As you can see, there's somebody climbing back there behind me. This is the top of Steel Creek. It only took about 20 minutes to get down here. And so far, so good. Actually getting to be a little warmer than I thought it was gonna be. Brought two jackets thinking I would need them. So far I'm just rocking one thermal layer. Almost made it through Steel Creek.
So right in front of me is the Steel Creek Overlook. I've hiked up there a handful of times. Once in the dark trying to capture some star pictures, but it really didn't turn out like I wanted. But regardless, super cool trail. It's like two miles, I think. And really cool view of the Buffalo River. to the Garmin watch for about 3.5 miles in and life doesn't get much better than this not very busy out here I've only passed two groups so far pretty much gonna have the river to myself most of the day I think it's a little bit of a headwind but the water's moving so fast it doesn't really matter most people think it's too cold still 
But if you want to hit this stretch of the river, which I highly, highly recommend, you got to do it March to June. That's the only time you can hit this part of the Buffalo River. It's got to rain. It's got to keep raining. And the flood stage lasts about a day, and then levels turn to the green for only a couple of days before it's too low again. significantly colder in the shade especially with soaked pants keeps you young and alive though I'm battling some crazy post virus symptoms for about three months now you just cannot seem to shake it it's not fun. All right, guys, we are about 4.5 miles in. There is a beautiful bluff right in front of me. The Goat Bluff is one of the most iconic hiking trails in Arkansas. It's one of the best ways to check out the Goat Bluff. If you don't want to hike several hard miles, just float this stretch of the river. You can actually hike up from the river to the Goat Bluff. I'm not gonna be doing that today since I have Crocs on and it's several miles of steep uphill. Cool information, good to know.
That's called Henderson Cabin. Really cool old school cabin in the middle of nowhere. actually. Well, just finishing up lunch here on this gravel bar next to the goat trail. Only got about five and a half miles left, so it only took me an hour and a half to get here. Probably gonna slow down a little bit so I can enjoy the day a little longer. It's a beautiful day, beautiful afternoon. 
So this is what I truly enjoy doing. Life doesn't get much better than this. Stretch is 10.8 miles, I believe. We're right at five, so about halfway.
coming up on six miles. I don't know if you guys saw in my footage, but there are some horseback riders off to the right side of the river. That's kind of cool to see. They're traveling on the ORT, which is a trail that follows the river. Um, I've hiked to Hemden Hollow from Kyle's Landing on the ORT, but you do have to cross the river like 10 times. Floating it is a much better option if the water level is good, of course. Decided to pull over real quick at the six mile mark and swap the camera. Give you guys a little bit different perspective. Oh, that's the deepest I've walked out in the water today. That was cold. All right, let's give this a try. Not so sure about that camera angle it seems probably just as wobbly as my mount up front here but anyway coming up on two hours we're at 6.24 miles and it's about 1 20 p.m. only got four or five miles left um, it is a Sunday I got to work tomorrow so I'm trying to get back fairly early but also not trying to rush it too much um, it's just kind of my nature to move quick. Spring is popping off down here in Arkansas.
We are coming up on 6.7 miles and it's the famous Jim's Bluff. I was informed there's a downed tree up here, so it could get a little interesting, but we'll see. Cool spot though. But that's that down tree they're talking about. I'm gonna stay left here. Thank you, Buffalo Outdoor Center, for letting me know about that down tree. You sent me down the right path today. I guess that 81 bucks was worth it. Buffalo Outdoor Center informed me about that down tree right there. Right, right after Jim's Bluff, you want to take the narrow left side. It's faster, but you won't have to portage your boat. 81 bucks is probably worth it just for that. Let's go. Coming up on seven miles.
water so link here. Always wanted to. Never have. This is 7.28 miles. That'd be a good deep water solo bluff that I was just talking about. That's it from a distance downstream. This next section is pretty cool. There's some bolted rock climbs and a really cool cliff jump and really cool camping right up here. to drop climbs here and you can jump off on this point right here I don't know if you guys can actually see the bolts in my cell camera but there's quite a few little routes here. If anybody out there ever wants to float in and do some rock climbing, leave it in the comments. Let's get it going. You can jump off from here. You can jump off from up here and here. Obviously when it's warmer. Well, we're about 7.5 miles here at these bolted routes. 
such a cool spot. It's bad you can't jump in from here. That'd be wild. Never is deep enough for that. Normally you can jump off right here when it's not cold out. Seven point eight miles. Well, more like seven point five because I just hiked around a little bit. But in front of me is the Hemden Hollow Trailhead, and it's only like one point two mile hike up the stream to see the tallest waterfall in the state of Arkansas. I'm wearing Crocs today, so don't think I'm gonna hike up there. but it's definitely the easiest way to see Hemden Hollow. The hiking trail is one of the hardest in the state. So if you want an easier way to see it, definitely float to it. I said I wasn't walking to the falls, but too close not to. It's been a couple of years and doing it for those who can't. Last couple of weeks I've been extremely fatigued due to some virus. Just now starting to feel better and just makes me more grateful for the times I do have out here. So, just gotta make the most of it. Like I said, I think it's about a mile, so hopefully take me about 15, 20 minutes in the old Crocs. I thought it was closer to a mile from the river to the falls, but it's actually about 0.7 three quarters of a mile or so. Should be coming up on it here before too long. That's the top of the falls there.
well made to the base of an hollow. Like I said, it's 0.7. For anybody that's curious, this goes up to the Compton Trailhead, 2.3 miles. Don't let the distance fool you. It's one of the hardest hikes in Arkansas. Incredibly steep. Definitely bring extra water. Made it back to the boat without having any ankle rolls or issues with the crocs. Nine point four nine miles in three and a half hours. almost 3 p.m. So I'm gonna boogie. I'm gonna go as fast as I can for this last four miles. I suspect it'll still take me about an hour.
for the trip total. Should have about two, three miles left here. Should be coming up on the campsite that I set up yesterday. I'll probably stop and show you guys what I'm talking about. It's the last campsite you can take off the river before it's technically illegal to primitive camp. You have to be a half mile from any developed uh, campground.
11 miles total for the trip. So that should mean we're about 9.6 miles in or so. Which means there's probably a mile left of floating. If y'all have made it this far, I sure appreciate it. This is probably a longer video than I usually make just because I love this stretch of river so much and I just wanted to put in every second of footage that I can. So it's pretty raw. But if you do like this sort of thing and want to keep following me as I go on more adventures in Arkansas and hopefully a whole lot of other places soon, hit that subscribe button. For anybody that's noticed, this is the uh, phone box I did a review on. And it has gotten soaked today. My phone is perfectly fine. So, still st still stoked on that thing. It's the Pelican 1050. It's just a hard case. I have submerged it just to see if it was airtight. And it didn't leak. But I'm not going to do it on purpose, obviously. Coming up on 11.5 for the trip total, so pretty close to Kyle's. Should be coming up on my campsite pretty soon. All right, guys, this will be my last stop. Right in the middle of these rapids is the uh, campsite I've been talking about. Let's go check it out real quick, and then we'll be headed home.
same spot last night on the camera. That must be the spot. Campsite's right there. We head out for the day. Wanted to come. All right, pulled over at the camp spot I've been talking about. Here it is. I could probably do a side by side of walking up here. See if I left anything. Nobody came through and used the firewood I collected. But this is a really good spot. I hate to give it away online, but here we are. So this is about 9.5 to 10 miles in. Got like half a mile left till the takeout. It's been a great day. Appreciate y'all watching. I'm just gonna let the camera roll the last half mile or so, and we'll catch you on the next one.
a little over 12 miles for the trip total and a little over four hours didn't expect to go hike a mile so delayed me a little bit but been a great day grateful to be out here if you made it this far appreciate it please like and subscribe It, folks we made it for the day just making it to the campground well it was an awesome day floating from Ponca to Kyle's Landing Ended up being about 13 miles for the trip total in about four and a half hours. Um, a little longer than I expected, but I did stop and check out the waterfall. Uh, but overall, a great day. Sunday is definitely the day to come and float this. Uh, Saturdays, this place can be a zoo. And as you can see, this parking lot is not busy at all right now. Uh, of course, when the weather gets warmer, It'll also be busier. If you like solitude and want the river to yourself, you're going to have to hit it on a weekday or a Sunday like I did today. Um, super grateful to be out here. Super grateful for you guys watching, liking, and subscribing. And if you like this sort of thing, stay tuned because I'm not going to stop. Uh, I haven't been feeling great the last couple of weeks, months really, but I'm just going to keep pushing on. This just may be the new baseline for life. Uh, just gonna keep on going that's all you can do right just grateful I could get out today and till next time